It's DK and I'm back with another video. Make sure you put me in your big screen video. I appreciate every last one of you for tuning in. We about to go out here and win to get these dividends. We are about to go from Illinois to Parma, Ohio. It's gonna take five hours and 35 minutes and we're gonna drive 364 miles. We about to go wild and I hope you like my style. Now look, I'm gonna tell you guys all the details so make sure you stay tuned to the full video and put me in your big screen video. Let's go. <coughs> Y'all see what's going on, baby. We are in Ohio. Check it out. Comment below and let me know. Do you know about this rest stop? Because I have no idea. This is my first time being here. But we had to come here to the bathroom, baby. But we are about 35 minutes away from the room because guess what? We have our pickup tomorrow at 6 a.m. So stay tuned and stick around. We in Ohio and we ain't playing around. Let's go. The next day. It is the next morning and it's pickup time. We out here on the ground. We trying to shine. They got the doorbell on this, John. We're a little bit early though, so. Let me see. It is 5.51. We're supposed to be in here at 6 out here in the mix. Hello. How you doing? I have a pickup from you guys to go to Aurora, Illinois. Uh, give me just a moment. Let me grab uh, my manager. Okay. A few moments later. All right. Let me see the, what, what address you're supposed to uh, pick it up from. 5575. Oh, Greg. Let me go grab Greg. Okay. I went to a different supermarket. Oh, so okay. <laughs> no, thank you. I appreciate it. Maybe I should have told you that. Maybe I should have asked. <laughs> All right, I got the right guy. Um, okay. Nothing's ready right now. Um, really? Give, yeah, uh, give us like maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, okay. If you could chill out. Okay, so I'll just stay right here or? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you want to back up to Just this back up door. to here? Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. A few moments later. Well, guys, unfortunately, guess what we got? Some good old trucking activity. This is this is what I'll be talking about right here. So we backed up to uh, door 21. Everything was cool. We was waiting for him to get everything situated. Then she came back out and let us know that they don't have a BOL and that the supervisor said we were not supposed to be here until 8 a.m. And it's now 6 a.m. So we don't know what's happened with that. Then she went back around and let them know that we told her to tell them that we're supposed to be at the drop off by 2 p.m. And if we leave at 8, we're not going to make it by 2 p.m. because we're going to run into traffic. Traffic. Looking for my chapstick. Feeling kind of car sick. There's a Ford Maverick. Now what we're doing is she talked to another supervisor who's actually in charge of everything. And he's supposed to be here like at 7 or in a few minutes. So hopefully he come quick. So we pause, 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 pause. pause. Hopefully he get here fast so we can get this cash. It is now 6.20, we pulled up, but we ain't making no money. Let's get it. I'm gonna get my exercise on today, huh? You certainly will. What is this, paper? No, oh, friend, yes. Paper. I don't wanna put them too close because you still gotta get those dollies out when we go to the drop off, so. Oh, so drop off with those in the BOL. Okay. Guys, yeah, if they can have a couple of ladies for us, they can, or they can sign it. Okay. Y'all see what's going on. Huh. I should have started the video off like this. It's D can I'm back with it. I should have started that turn off like that. That would have been raw, wouldn't it? I know, I know, I know, I know. <coughs> Y'all see it covered and strapped in. When we get this BOL, we're gonna go out here and win and get these dividends. Let's go. This is uh, drop off customer service on the phone. They're gonna ask you a couple of questions. I'm trying to get the bill lading too. Okay. All right, there you go. It's, Hello? it's on speaker. Hey, it's Mary, drop off customer service. Do you have the um, tracking number? Um, I have the number that's in the app, if that's what you're asking. Is that the number that you're looking for? Yeah, I think it's a something, something. Um, like are you talking about, you said D or P? D is in driver. Uh, D1785. Dot zero zero. Okay, let me look this up. Okay, all right. Are you at, is it Roche, R-I-C-O-H? Yes. Pharma? Yes. Okay, um, there is a PO, there's a PO number under references. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if you can see that. Yeah, I can see it. Um, okay, that should be what he needs. 
if not, um, let me know and I can... Yeah, yeah, that should be what he needs. Yeah, he had, he, or I have the reference number, but he needed a, a BOL, a book of lading, a piece of paper saying what the items are. Oh. And so I can sign it and take it to the, to the customer. Understood. Okay, well that was, okay, let me talk to him again. Hello? No, he's at a different location. And finally, we got the green light. It's time for us to pull up and get our pockets tight. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at the drop off. Not they sock soft. We're trying to ball like hot sauce. We're in this doorbell. We're going to put it on the scale. I'm so glad we back towards home. It wasn't a bad drive, though. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. Blah! got like this whole thing open of right there. back there. Yeah, okay. so we'll okay. do what we can to get them in there. Okay. Over. Not all of our lights are like this. Last one. Step back in the photo, yard noodle. Smack. We go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it, baby. How did I get this order and how much I got paid? I'm trying to pull up a new Escalade. First off, I want to say this. I got it from an app called Drop Off with a nice day socks off. I got it from the Drop Off app, but to get to this money, no cap. Well, not really the Drop Off app. It's an app called Slack that Drop Off used to communicate to all the people that are uh, running their app. So if you have a, a route you're supposed to do, that's how they communicate with you on the Slack app. So don't go run out there and uh, download that Slack app because that's how people communicate. I think it's kind of like a social media, but more like a business thing, kind of like a LinkedIn or something. I'm not really sure. I barely even know how to work that, Joan, but we went out there to get it on. Now, they reached out and said, can anybody do this order? You're gonna pick up a van in Chicago on yesterday. You're gonna drive to Parma, Ohio. You're gonna spend a night there and then you're gonna pick up this, what we just picked up at six in the morning the next day and then drive back to Chicago and drop it off by the time they socks off. Now, they also included these things. They said they will give you a hundred dollars for a hotel. So they're gonna pay for the hotel. They were gonna pay for the van and they also were gonna pay for all of the gas so you can go out there and get that cash. So initially the payout for this was $450. Again, they're gonna pay you $450 you don't have to pay for nothing. All you got to do is get the van, draw that joint to Ohio, and then come back. So I reached out to them like, what's going on? I got my van. I got my dolly. How much y'all offer me? They said we would give you $750. Go out there and get a grip, G. I'm like, let me think about it. That's over a dollar a mile. And they're going to pay for gas. And they're going to pay for tolls. And they're going to give me a free hotel. Now, I will say this about this whole order. It was a disaster from start to be, from 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 beginning to the end. I ain't gonna lie. I'm telling you honest the God truth. It was a disaster, and I didn't like it. But it is what it is. Hey, we had to go get that. We had to go get that 750. I'm trying to pull up and get a grip, G. We had to get that 750. Now, let me tell you guys why it was a disaster. First off, they asked me about this two days ago. Well, they asked everybody about this two days ago. I'm like, I'm thinking about thinking about thinking about. I'm like, okay, cool. Y'all offer me the 750, I'll do it. Then that that night they was like. Okay, I'll text you in the morning to see if we can cancel the van because they already had the van order. If we can cancel this van and then we can see if you can do it. I reached out to him in the morning, I ain't hear none. Reached out to him again, I ain't hear none. Went to go do a sun run order, drop that joint off, still didn't hear none. So around 10.30ish, I heard something back and say, yes, you can do the order. I'm like, okay, cool, send me the address. Now mind you, this is a six and a half hour drive. Like it's like more like six hours and 15 minutes. So we gotta drive six hours and 15 minutes. I'm trying to hear them get the joint as early as possible because I do not want to run into no traffic. So they give it to us about 10, they give it, uh, give us the order about 10, 30, 11. We hit the road, we go there, boom. Everything cool. Now, when we go out to eat, right? I got a bone to pick Ohio. Look, we go out to eat, right? The food was not bad, but the joint was cold. We go out to eat, everything cool, we order the food, and it's like lukewarm cold. Like, it, it, it seems like you went 10 minutes away from your house, picked up some uh, food, and then came back. I don't know why it was cold. Everybody else eating before us, we got the cold food, they had to remake the stuff. By that time, I'm full, so now it's critical. So then, after that, 
I'm like, okay, cool. We eat the food. The food wasn't bad. So huge shout out to people in Ohio. Get to the hotel room. I'm trying to go to sleep, right? There is a blinking light. It's like they didn't put batteries in. It's like a smoke detector or something. But the, it ain't making no noise, but it keep on blinking. Blinking like every, probably every 30, 30, 45 seconds, Joy blink. Blink, blink. Couldn't fall asleep. The mattress hard. Pause. I can't fall asleep. So I'm up tossing and turning all night. Tossing and turning, tossing and turning, tossing and turning, right? Finally, I maybe get a little bit of sleep, I think. I really don't know. Get up, go out there and get busy. Pull up. They told me to be there at 6 a.m. Remind me, I told you that. 6 a.m. We get there. The lady talking about she don't know what's going on. She got to reach out to her other supervisor. They need the BOL and all this and all that, right? Boom. We literally sat there and waited for two hours and 21 minutes. Well, we did go to Starbucks in between that, but two hours and 21 minutes we waited for them to tell us after he got done talking on the phone, all that drop off and everything. Guess what he told us? You guys are good to go. So this whole time, we never needed a BOL. We just been sitting here and waiting for two hours and 21 minutes for no reason at all. And come to find out, this company is a sister company of their company. So all they had to do is reach out to each other. Hey, look, they about to, they're picking these boxes up. We sending them to y'all. That's it. We don't need no BOL. We don't need none of that stuff. So we sat there and wasted two hours and 21 minutes. But that was cool. Well, that, that wasn't cool. So then we hit the road to get our pockets all swole. We get there and everything was pretty much smooth, smooth from there. But it was it was scorching hot. And then we had to put the boxes exactly how she wanted to, uh, us, to, us to put the boxes. That was a little issue, but not really, but it was. So all in all, at the end of the day, it ain't gonna be exactly how you want everything. Everything ain't always gonna work out the way you want it to work out. But we did go make that 750. So I ain't complaining about that. My question to you is, would you have done this order? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before we go, I'm gonna say this. Don't seize up! Don't seize up your part of the crew. You already know what we're here to do. We're here to get busy, and I'm glad you guys are with me. We went out there and got a grip, G. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know it, DDK, and I'm on my way.